So this is what we're working on today. It's a uh, Oliver 543 corn planter, four row. It's got the uh, no-till bar up front. Picked this up in Pennsylvania a couple weeks ago. Been meaning to put it all back together, but uh, just, we've had rough weather the last couple weeks, so I haven't had a chance to. Uh, I had to pull the press wheels off the back to put on the trailer as well as the hitch up front so that I wasn't over with going down the road with it. Um, looks to be in pretty good shape. The guy that I bought it from um, had 30 acres and uh, he was going to clear it and try his hand at farming and then kind of gave up on it. Um, so he had this for sale, a bunch of other equipment he had. I ended up buying a, uh, I believe it's an international, either a 37 or a 370 uh, disc arrow, about 10 foot I'd say. Um, made me a good deal on that, so I picked that up as well. But um, yeah, I was looking. I've been looking for a corn planter. Um, the setup I have right now is I'm pretty much I'm harvesting the corn off of the farm that I grew up working on. Um, just the uh, the corn maze they have there, and uh, I've been meaning to. I've been looking for ground for a while to, you know grow my own corn but problem is in that area all the farmland that's available they don't want you growing corn on it they'd rather just see hay fields than corn fields so um i lucked out and there's a guy up the road here by me that has 20 acres so i'm gonna be renting from him and uh, putting my own stand of corn in so be using this for that so hopefully it all works out it looks to be like i said looks to be in decent shape everything spins freely nothing seized up on it he never used it he bought it off of a mennonite guy he said um there's no i don't know how they were running it because there's no cylinder on the front here to raise and lower it so we'll have to grab one of those but um yeah so could have bought a newer planter but i'm a pretty big Oliver guy so I saw this and price was right and I said yep we're going to Pennsylvania to grab it so so I'll set you guys up here and see if we can put it together <laughs> So press wheels are all on. Upon further investigation, some of these openers I'm going to need to replace the bearings in. It's not a big deal. It's a two-second job. and uh, The bearings, at least for the IH56 that I'm used to running, those bearings are wicked cheap. So not too worried about that. <clears throat> um, so I'll do that at some point. I'm going to throw the front hitch on now. Be a lot easier if my tractor was running because I could just hook the no-till bar up to the bucket and pick it up and slap it together. But I wanted to go fire that up. The starter smoked in it, so I got a new one coming. Would like to have it rebuilt, but no one around here rebuilds them anymore. All those guys are dead and gone. Uh, fertilizer boxes are all in good shape. I don't think they ever ran fertilizer through this. I got this bucket full of parts. I got to look through this and see what all is in there. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I only paid 800 bucks for it, so 
I think that's pretty good for a no-till planter. Not that I'm going to be going no-till. I'll be running a, probably a plowing and running a disc over in front of the, in front of the planter. But, um, it's nice to know I got the no-till option if I ever go that route. Um, man, planters around this area are not cheap. I saw some, some planters in worse shape than this for 12 to 1500 bucks. Um, and this is an Oliver, which is a big plus for me because I'm a big Oliver guy. So that was, if we're being honest, that was probably the main reason I took the trip down there to buy it. But um, when I first looked at it, it was actually in much better shape than I thought it was going to be. So I'm pretty, pretty pumped with that. Um, so yeah, let's slap the front hitch on and we'll keep going on her.
So I'm not going to lie to you. That came, that went together a lot harder than it came apart. Um, but it's ready to go. So I think what I'm going to do now is, uh, like I said, I'd love to wash this thing off and grease everything up, but I'm probably going to hold off on that. I don't know if that's supposed to be that loose. I don't believe it's supposed to. Yeah, that's tight. So, um, but I think that's all I'm going to do to it today. Uh, I'm going to clean out the pole barn here, tuck this off in the back, pull the trucks back in. Um, fortunately, like I said, the tractor is dead, waiting on the starter. So I think I'll hook my pickup up to it and uh, back it in. Hopefully the uh, the markers clear the top of the roof there. If they do, that would be ideal. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so it's undercover in my pole barn. Um, so I guess next step, I'm gonna go through grease everything, lube up the chains, make sure everything spins freely. Um, I'm gonna adjust the openers. Um, I have to adjust the rows themselves. Uh, my combine set up for 30 inch rows, so I got to adjust these out. Hopefully they slide nice and easy. I'm sure that'll be a challenge, but so adjust these out and then adjust the uh, the no-till openers here, or the no-till uh, bar. Um, then we should be good to go. I did have to unpin the uh, markers that would fit inside of here. Um, so yeah, and I figured I'd walk over and check out, show you the... Uh, <clears throat> this is the disc I picked up with that planter. Like I said, it's either a 37 or a 370. They're pretty similar. Someone said that you could tell by like the angle of this bar here for the hitch, um, but I didn't see a tag on it anywhere. Um, wasn't going there for this. Um, he had a he had a whole listing on uh, Marketplace of all the everything he was selling, and uh, when. I told him what I was going down there for. He asked me if I had any interest in anything else he had and said, well, I could use a disc. And, uh, but I didn't really want to spend, he was asking like 800 for it. And I was like, I don't really want to spend, uh, 1600 in one shot today. So I think I'm going to take just the planter. And then, uh, when I got up there, he was like, tell you what, if you take the disc, I'll give you a good deal on it. So he was asking eight, um, Told me he'd give it to me for four, so figured I couldn't go wrong for that. Worst case scenario, I'd flip it, but I'm gonna hang on to it. I think um, I haven't had a tractor here that can lift this yet. My Alice doesn't have uh, her bolts on the back, so I gotta wait till I bring one of the other tractors up this way to pick it up and check out the condition of the bearings. But just looking at this, um, it's gonna need a couple of discs. Um, there's one that's broken right off somewhere. I thought it was on that gang, but I could be wrong. But, uh, so it's going to need some discs, and uh, we'll go from there. But I think this will work out pretty well. It's a little bit smaller than what I wanted. Um, I haven't drug a measuring tape across this, but it was hanging off my trailer a couple feet on both sides, so I'm thinking it's a 10-footer. Because um, obviously the trailer's 8'6". But... 400 bucks. I don't think it did too bad. So, it's gonna need tires. But, uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty well for, for what I'm doing. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.